there we go. We're gonna go to H2O Hospitality and we talk to someone from this area. Hi, hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, so, John, Yes. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what is H2O Hospitality? Uh, so, nice to meet you. Uh, my name is John Lee. I'm the founder and CEO of H2O Hospitality. Uh, so, H2O actually does not stand for a water symbol. It actually means hospitality 2.0. So, we're trying to create <laughs> the next generation hospitality value chain. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, hospitality industry have two large problems, which cause a lot of companies to go... Uh, down during the COVID-19. The first problem obviously is extremely outdated uh, operational flow. It's almost exactly the same compared to 100 years ago, how the hotels are operated. The second problem is the distorted part dynamics between the OTAs and hotels and resorts. And how we're resolving that is through our tech and a management platform. So we have two different techs. It's called CRS, which is Central Reservation Service, and RMS, uh, which is basically a smart check-in service plus AI-based CRM. So what CRS does is it actually fully automates the six physical departments of hotels. Uh, I'm sure you only experience hotels as a guest, right? So you only get to meet like housekeepers, maybe front desk, concierge. But uh, on the back end of it, there's many, many different different physical departments for hotels. And unfortunately, a lot of those work done by back end operation is manually done. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, a lot of the reservation information that comes from different channels like online travel agencies, offline travel agencies, sales agents, B2B, it actually still comes through fax, email, or text messages. And most of the time, uh, these so-called uh, elite hoteliers who work at reservation departments, they receive reservation information and then keying that in under their ERP or the system called PMS. Right. So how we automate this is we actually digitize the funnel of reservation data from upfront. So sales agents, B2B, offline or online travel agencies, so that inventory can be managed automatically and also the revenue can be automated as well. So that's one part that we actually do really well. The second part is how to get inside the guest's own smartphone. Mm -hmm. So a lot of companies actually try to uh, do a smart check-in. Mm -hmm. uh, like they try to put kiosk, tablet, third-party smartphone inside their room, or try to make you download an app. Mm -hmm. But the problem is nobody uses. Right. The usage rate is below 5%. So what we, what, we try, what, what we actually did is we came up with a tech uh, that is based on weblink and a OTP-based pin code. So we're utilizing these chat apps that most people use, like WhatsApp, Kakao, or Line, so that they don't, they don't, need, they don't have to download any apps, but at the same time can have a seamless uh, smart check-in processes, which we actually achieved over 90% of the usage rate which means we're actually gathering over 90% of the total guest information. Because right now, the problem between the OTAs and facilities is OTAs do not give the guest information to the facility. So if I book Marriott through yeah. Booking.com, Booking.com does not send my email address to Marriott. That's why the dependency upon OTAs have been getting bigger and bigger, right. and hotels had to pay a lot of commission for that. So what we're trying to do from the hotel perspective is to utilize existing chat apps mm -hmm. to create a D2C platform. Mm -hmm. So we're increasing the direct booking volume. We're almost tripling yeah. uh, the booking volumes, uh, direct booking volumes of our clients right now. Wow. Okay. So uh, that explanation was enough for me, but I want to know then... What's the future? Where are you at right now? What stage of investment? What stage of planning? Are you in Korea? Are you, tell us your plans right now. Uh, we're currently in Korea, Japan, uh, Vietnam, and Thailand. Uh, we currently manage around 40,000 units in four countries. Most of them, over 80%, are mainstream four to five star uh, hotels and resorts. Uh, so uh, our, our yearly revenue, net revenue, is around like 35 million this year, around 100 million next year. So we're at a growth stage. So hopefully we can expand further outside of Asia as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you Appreciate it. Good luck this week. Thank you.